Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Oscar. Hi, Eli. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, Eli. Hi, Hi everybody. Good evening, teacher Oscar. And Elita, qué bueno verla. Gracias, teacher. Aquí estamos ya. Qué bueno, Eli. Tratando de empezar. Yo sé. Gracias. Gracias, teacher. All right, aha, Oscar, how was your, did you, did you have vacation, Oscar? Did you rest or not really? Uh, no, I didn't, I didn't. So you I had just, to work? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. I had to work. <laughs> and I went a couple of times. Couple ah, okay. Times last week. Uh -huh. All right, okay. But you like to go to work, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. You, you don't mind. <laughs> it's, it's easier than being, being home. <laughs> oh, it is totally. I agree. There's so many things to do at home that you never stop. <laughs> that's 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 true. Yeah, that's for right. sure. Yeah, yeah, but it's but I'm okay. I'm okay. What can I say? Yeah, it's a good life. It's that's still right. I have. I still I have the job. <laughs> that's right. I know, and we uh -huh. we have to consider ourselves lucky, you know, because there are many people without jobs right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. It's yeah. complicated. So do you know anything about like when the airport is going to reopen with all this mess? <laughs> well, I, uh, according to, uh, let me, let me check. Uh, so there will, there won't be any second phase. It's I just guess a, not. <laughs> no, this is just a cut, a uh, cool turkey. There will be a cool turkey on the, on the quarantine. Yeah. Oh no, in, in the phase one, in the phase number yes. one. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then all of a sudden we're, we're going to be open, but I know. Uh, only for, I believe only for, uh, how to say, for commuters, for how to say, so in pass, the people okay. who is, who is flying to, to the U.S., for example, they mm -hmm. come from, from Peru. Okay. They, they make uh, a, they a have stop? a TWO. Uh -huh. Okay. Scala, how do you say Scala? Like a stop, uh, they have a stop. A stop, uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, they have to stop right. here and then go to. But I believe uh, there there won't be there still won't be a chance to to travel for us. All not right, yet. yeah, not okay. not foreigners entering mm. and no nationals going out. All right, yeah, of course, yeah. Actually, you, you can go. You can, actually, if you have the the the, the sources or mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the sources, you can go out. But you're going to be uh, stuck in a stuck in a in another quarantine in another country. That's right. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you <laughs> so, better stay. <laughs> uh -huh. Right. Anyways, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Of course. All right. Interesting. Okay. Very good. Uh, that's a TWO is a is a kind of business trans traf, transit without visa. Ah, uh, okay, transit. all right, yes, okay. People who is transiting mm -hmm. in El Salvador, mm -hmm. who is who is passing, they right. going to be. But uh, another thing to say is that uh, even if if the airport opens, uh, uh, the companies are not flying so much. Right, I know. Eh? That's that's a point. Yeah, you're making a Avianca point. Avianca is not it's not flying. They have a like a like a backyard, like a no, that like a plane yard. I mean, over the taxiways or aprons, they have a, like a parking lot. They have a lot of planes. Oh, over really? There. Okay. They are they are not using them. Wow. They are not using them, and and. Even though, if, if even if we open, mm -hmm. if the airport opens, right. there won't be any flights. I mean, there will be few flights. There will right. Be few. right, but no, like they used to. <laughs> no, I believe, in the personal, I believe it may be in five years. Will be the same. Yeah, because really of the, the, the traveling. <gasps> it's because of the traveling stuff. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Unless a, a good vaccination, a good, I mean, uh, unless, unless the, the, the pandemic ends like a, like as a, like a chicken pots or, yeah. or the, the, those are uh, uh, some 
infectious diseases mm -hmm. that are already controlled in right in, right in health. Okay. So maybe three three if 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 we find the the right the cure. vaccine. <laughs> no kidding. The, yeah. The right vaccine. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's actually complicated. Uh, this has changed the whole world. <laughs> I uh have -huh, the whole world is, is like this. I don't know why people is telling that the Salvador is in a different place. Right, yeah. Even I the know. gringos are even the gringos are suffering now. <laughs> no kidding. I know they are. They are. Uh -huh. It's terrible. All right. Very good. Thank you. Oscar Diana. Hello, Diana. How are you? Hello to everyone. Hi, Diana. <laughs> Hello, Diana. Hi. Hi. All right, so Williams, hello, Jennifer. We have Elise. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Gerardo. Gerardo, you look comfy enough. <laughs> I envy you. <laughs> That's nice. Hello. Good. <laughs> hello. Oh, good night. Good, good, good yeah, evening. good evening. Very good. Don't say good night because otherwise you're going to fall asleep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And Irene also, all right, very nice. So guys, did you rest or did you have to work? Diana, how was your vacation? Did you work on vacation? Yes, I did, I worked on vacation. All right. Yes, I had to, but I took like a day off. Okay. One day off, yeah. One day off, oh no, Diana. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you're very busy right now, huh? Yes, I am, I am. I'm kind of tired, but I'm, yeah. I'm happy. At the same time, no, of course, yes, that's nice, very good. Williams, what about you? Did you rest, Williams, or you had to work the whole week? Uh, we have a, a free week, but uh, I have some something to do. Okay. Uh, yeah. But, okay. But a little, a little work. Okay. All right. What about Jennifer? Jenny, did you did you stay home or did you work last week? I did work. You you went to work? Yes. The whole week, Jenny? Just uh just six. Okay. Uh, Thursday Thursday six I rest. Oh my goodness. Okay, Jenny. All right. Okay. But I'm feeling happy. Yes, very good. Okay, very nice. And Gerardo, did you work the whole week last week? Yes, I worked. Yeah, all yes, right. I, I did work uh, only six, like uh, Jennifer. Right, okay, all right, okay. You have to tell me where you found that picture, Gerardo. <laughs> <laughs> I that found was you, teacher. I yeah, found you. You found me. I told you I worked there. <laughs> very nice, yeah. I miss those girls. They were like very, very nice. <laughs> very good. And then, Irene, what about you, Irene? Did you work last week? Irene, are you there? Hi, Irene. Everybody. I didn't work the, the last week. I am. You had vacation. <laughs> All right. Yes, I am. I was in vacation. Okay, very nice. Good for you. All right, thank you. And Elizabeth, what about you, Ellie? Elizabeth Salguero, did you Me? work or did you rest? Hi, yes. Uh, yes, teacher. I was resting a lot. Wow, nice. <laughs> we have to, no, we made, how do you say puente? We made, oh, the owner made uh, <laughs> a puente. <laughs> puente. <laughs> the owner made puente. L long weekend. Uh, long yeah, weekend. you had a long weekend. No kidding. Thank you, Oscar. It's like, okay. Uh, okay it's a bridge, but I don't know. <laughs> very good. Thank you. Oh, very nice. Uh -huh. uh, um, I read a lot. Okay, very nice. Because I. Uh -huh. I have six days off. Wow, good for you, Elizabeth. Lucky you. All right. Very Thank good. you. Excellent. And you, teacher, are you rest? I rested, yes, because I was not teaching, but I was working a lot on the computer because I do like the platforms mm. and everything. And at home, I never rest because of my too. children. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's always like everything to do at home. Very nice. All right. What about Jesse? Jessenia, hi, Jesse. Did you rest last week, Jesse? Yes, I am <laughs> all that week. I know, I know. That's a good thing. And, and too, right, Ellie? You did not teach last week, right, Ellie? No, no, <laughs> no. In vacation, don't teach no, class. No, no, no. And and that weekend, don't teach class too because it's reposition weekend. Oh, <laughs> cool. All right, interesting. Yes. You see, guys, you need to be teachers, not me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, <laughs> Williams, why not? It's fun to be a teacher. <laughs> oh, teacher, teacher, no. No teacher, no. Jennifer? No, no teacher. why not, Jennifer? Because I don't have passions with the others. <laughs> you don't it's have patience. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's difficult for me. Yeah, yeah. It's not for everybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, very good. Oscar, what about you? Are you patient enough, Oscar, or not really? If I manage the, the course or the topic, uh -huh. I am patient. But uh, otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, being a teacher is a tough yeah. job. It's a tough <laughs> job. Yeah. No way. No way. It's a talent. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Sure. Right, Ellie and Jesenia? Being a teacher is a talent, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's right. the best career that you it's have. It's the best to... career. Yeah, it is nice. Yes. <laughs> For me, I love teaching. You love class. to teach. You know what? I'm going to tell you a secret. I love teaching, but not children. <laughs> okay. wow. Wow. Yes, I love the children. I know it. It's my like passion. <laughs> Very good for you, Jesse. And I know Ellie too, right? But no, no. But me, I know. You know what? Before, long time ago, I, I've been teaching for 22 years. Okay. And the first 10 years I taught in schools like junior high, high school, and preschool. And I liked it. Yeah. I started teaching at universities. And then I discovered that I love teaching adults. <laughs> so uh, many, many times I have been offered to teach in schools, and I say, no, <laughs> I can't. Wow. No, no, no. Yes, uh, when, uh, teacher, I when teach I was young uh -huh. in my um, high school, Yes. The teacher, the accountant teachers say me to to work to others college uh -huh. with uh, others uh, teenagers, mm. and I say no. <laughs> yeah, not getting no. <laughs> yes. All because right. I go in accountant, but uh -huh. not to teach, not to teach. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's different. I mean, every level is different. But yeah, yes. I mean, some people some love people. children, which is very good. Some people love teenagers, which is very good, but not for me. <laughs> I like <laughs> adults. <laughs> it's yes. I teach and, class since 12 years ago. Okay. And yeah. I teach all the levels. Okay. But the most beautiful stages is for four years. Oh my goodness, no! <laughs> <laughs> because it's the the gears and the song you can who them. Yeah, you can hug them. You yeah. can play with their. Okay. I love, <laughs> I love playing love. with the children. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, interesting. Uh, I I can stand children. Children uh, don't follow orders. I mean, they, it's kind <laughs> like, of difficult. It is difficult. <laughs> Yeah, that's it's a, kind of it. yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you can but you can show for the children your maternity. Uh, it's yeah. so different with yeah. the young people. Yeah, that's true. It's true. All right. No, you know what? Sometimes I think every level is like a challenge because teaching adults is not easy either. All right. It's yes. it's it's also something that you you need to know how to do because it's not for everybody. Yeah. You have to right. be fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In all levels. Yes, very good. Hi, Normita. Ya estaba yo preguntándome dónde estaba, señorita. Hi, Norma. How are you? Hi, thank you. 
Excellent. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. Nice to see you, Norma. Very nice. And Henry also, welcome to class. All right, guys, very good. I'm so happy to see you all. I'm, I'm happy that you're safe and sound. You're still here with us. That's very, very nice. And I appreciate that you guys are here with me, all right? Because I know it's difficult being here every day, but this is for your own good anyway. So it's, it's really highly appreciated. Therefore, guys, I always try to make, uh, you know, like an interesting class for you. So you think you feel that it's been uh, like, you know, worth it. All right. So here we go. So today we're not really going to talk about what we've been talking on the past, like, like the past week that we were talking about uh, professional development and training and stuff. We're going to continue talking about those topics tomorrow and the whole the rest of the week. But today we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, remember the first class we talked about pair conjunctions, not only but also? We remember that? Yes. That we were saying not only uh, English is fun, but also complicated to say something, all right? And we were using it that way, okay? We were using it at the beginning of our sentences. Not only he is handsome, but also rich, <laughs> all right? Good. That's a very good combination. No, I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> Uh, okay, that's okay. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Thank you, Irene. Okay, so uh, we were using it at, at the very beginning, and I believe I told some of the groups when I was going in the groups that when we use it that way, guys, when we use not only but also at the beginning, as for example, I said, not only he is handsome but also rich, we are making the, we're being very emphatic. All right, we're like trying to make emphasis on what we're saying. Not only he is handsome or she's beautiful, but also smart. Okay, so we're like really emphasizing something here. Hi, Silvita. All right, so that's very, very like, um, that's, a, that's one way of doing it. Okay, and that's how we did it the very first class. Now I'm going to show you, and I know you know this, but I'm gonna show it to you with different parts of the speech in different positions, okay? I'm not saying that is, which one is the rightest one? It depends what you say. If you wanna be very emphatic, you're gonna use it at the beginning. If you're gonna use it just like, you know, like in a normal kind of like equivalent kind of way, then you use it in the other ways I'm gonna show you today. So I'm gonna like walk you through it and then I'm, uh, we're, you guys are going to do like some practices with it, okay? So this is what I have. I'm gonna show it to you right now. Just let me see here if I have it. Uh, let me get it. It's this one, yeah. Okay. So here we have this one right here. Okay, it says not only, but also. This is the one that we're gonna concentrate on today because I wanna walk you through the different ways of using it with different parts of the speech. When I say different parts of a speech is different things that we have in a sentence. For example, we have nouns, we have adjectives, we have adverbs, we have uh, verbs, okay? So with different parts of a speech, we can use not only, but also in, okay? So I want someone to help me read here. Uh, who, wants me, who wants to help me read this heading that I have here, right here, this one right now? Me, teacher. Thank you, Jennifer. Not only, but also. S plus V plus not only plus adjective plus adverb plus noun, but also plus adjective plus adverb and noun. Okay. Uh, S plus not only plus verb plus but also plus verb. All right. Stop right there, Jennifer. When you see that, you say, what? <laughs> okay, Jessica <laughs> went crazy, right? What is this? All right. So, uh, Remember that S stands for subject, V stands for verb, not only is the conjunction or the pair conjunction, not only we can use subject plus verb plus not only plus adjective or plus adverb or plus noun plus but also plus adjective or an adverb or a noun. Okay, so that is one sentence. What I'm trying to say here to you right now is the first one that Jennifer read that is on the top is one type of sentence. Okay, 
using it that way. The second one that Jennifer also read, it says subject, not only plus verb, plus, but also plus verb. So you notice in this second sentence, we're using verb and verb. That means that we're using a parallel structure. When I say parallel structure is that we're using the same part of a speech. So we're using a verb, at the after not only and we're also using a verb after but also okay so let's it's better if we understand when we uh, see the examples and we comprehend better all right so on blue it says not only but also is used to connect and emphasize two words or two phrases at the same position okay do you understand what I'm saying? Here, with this structure that Jennifer just read to us, we are saying that for him being handsome and him being rich, for us is the same, is a, is the same it is at the same level, all right? Not, not that we care more that he's handsome or not that we care more that he's rich. For us, it's the same, that he's handsome and he's rich, all right? So in that way, it's the same position. That's why we use it this way. Let's see, we're, I'm gonna give you, we're gonna read the example using adjective, an example using a noun, an example using a noun, and an example using a verb. And I want you to see the difference, okay? Every time we finish a block or a, 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 a part of this um, presentation, I'm gonna send you to your groups and I want you to work on that. Okay, because if I wait for the whole worksheet, you will forget everything. Okay, deal? Excellent, very good. So we have example number one, Oscar. Can you read where it says right here, Oscar? I'm gonna underline it for you, highlight it for you here. The first one, example with adjective, Oscar. She is not, not only beautiful, but also intelligent. Excellent, thank you, Oscar. So here we have, she's not only beautiful, beautiful is an adjective but also intelligent. Intelligent is an adjective, okay? So we have a, we have the subject, we have the verb, in this case it's is, but it's a verb, a, not only, and then we're using beautiful, that is an adjective, but also, and then we're using another adjective, okay? So here we're applying this one right here, S plus V plus not only plus adjective plus, but also plus adjective, okay? So you see, it's the same thing. So everything the same is the same position is a parallel structure. Williams, do you uh -huh. mind reading the second one, please? Okay. She speaks English, she speaks English not only fluently, but also naturally. Excellent. Thank you, Williams. She speaks English not only fluently, but also naturally. That one's those two fluently and naturally, those are adverbs. Okay. Ahora, if you don't know what an adverb is, we're complicated, okay? We are gonna have troubles here. You need to know what an adverb is, you need to know what an adjective is, you need to know what a verb is, all right? So in this case, fluently and naturally, those are acting as adverbs, okay? Uh, let me see, Eli, can you read the third one with, ver uh, with nouns, Elita? Eli? Eli. Ellie. Yes, Ellie. I like not only apple, but also banana. Thank you. All right. I like not only apple, but also banana. Apple is a noun. Banana is a noun. Okay. Yes. Yeah? So I'm using the same one, the same parallel structure. I'm using noun and noun. Very nice. Norma, can you read the, one, the last one, Norma, that says verb? I, on, I not only sing, I only not sing well, but also dance perfectly. Excellent, very good, Norma. Yo sabía que era bailarina. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it says, I not only sing well, sing is the verb, but also dance perfectly. All right, so sing, dance, verb, verb. Okay, now, if I ask you guys here for the, for the last uh, sentence that Norma read, what about well and what about perfectly? What are they? 
adverbs. They are adverbs. Thank you. Uh -huh. Right. So well is an adverb. Perfectly is an adverb. How well do you dance? Or how well how well do you sing? I sing well. How well do you dance? Perfectly. All right. Remember, y eso solo para recordarles, an adverb describes another adverb, describes an, an adjective, or describes a verb, and answers the questions how, how often, when, how well, those are the adverbs, okay, just for you to remember. So this is what I want you okay. to do. Yeah, you know, the frequency, exactly. This is what I want you to do. I want you to come up with the first, as I told you, the, we're gonna go one by one, because if I wait until the end to tell you, okay, many questions, many sentences, you're gonna hate me, okay? So we're gonna go block by block here, okay? So what I want you to do, take a picture only to this part. Lo demás no le tome foto, lo prohibo. Here, from here to here, take a picture or write it if you want, and I want you to come up with examples, all right? Using adjective, using an adverb, using a noun, and using verbs on your sentences, okay? Watch it. This is the structure that we're learning today. Subject first, verb is after, and then not only, and then you're making a sentence with adjective, another with adverb, another with noun, and another with verb. So you're making four sentences. Get it? Yes? Get it. Excellent. So I'm yeah. sending you to your groups right now. Hi, Verito. No la había visto. Hi, Vero and Silvita also. And Andrea. Oh, my goodness. I'm happy to see all of you guys. Excellent. All right. Very good. So go to your group. Oh, what are you? Is someone talking to me? No, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Okay. So I'm going to send you. I'm, I'm like thinking, oh, my God. All right. I'm going to send you right now to your groups. All right. And I want you to take... Um, to make one sentence and I want you to make it nice and well written because you guys are advanced already, all right? So you are making perfect sentences, okay? So don't, don't make it like so easy, make it, you know, complicated because you guys are advanced. Okay, so here we go, on your groups. And then we're coming back, we're checking them and then we're gonna go over the other one, get it? There you go guys, have fun. Hi, Henry. The, the two things, smart and intelligent, is at the same level. Ah, okay, okay. So right, right now we are going to we are going to to prepare four sentences. Right? Hello. Hi, hi. Hi, hi Andrea. Nice to see you, Andrea. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. So you know what to do, Andre. I don't know if you were able to see or to see the uh, explanation that we were working on. Uh, no, but Diana is uh, was was explaining me. All right, okay. But were you able to take the picture, Andrea? Ah uh, no. Do you want to take it right now? I can share it with you. So yes. you have it there. All right. It's it's just the first part, Andrea. It's this first block. Oh, okay. From here to here, let's say. All right. Okay. So First when you uh -huh. 
you use it this way, what you're doing is you're connecting and emphasizing at the same time two words or two phrases in the same position. None of them is better than the other one. For you, they are the same. It's like a flat sentence, all right? It's like beautiful and intelligent for you. Just, it is at the same level, for example, for number one. All right, and it's the same part of a speech. If you notice, you're using adjective and adjective. In the other one, you're using adverb and adverb. Okay, and okay. so all right, and so the idea, as Diana was explaining to you, the idea mm -hmm. is for you to make four sentences, one for each, one as as adjective, another one using adverbs, another one using nouns, and then the last one using verbs, and you stop right there, and then we're coming back and we're doing the second block. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, girls. You. Okay, it's, it's coming the story. Yes, it's the connection. I think it's up. I can barely hear you. I think it's coming. Oh. Henrito, your internet connection. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yes, it's, it's terrible. Is it raining, Henry? Yes. Yeah, I think that's why. Um, Oscar, well, I'm going. I'm going to send you someone else with you here, so you can all okay. try to work with us. With us, I mean, with uh, Hen. No, with Eric is coming in, and with Henry. Okay. 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 All right. Thank okay. you. Oh. Hi, Gerardo. Hello. How are you? Fine. <laughs> You're working with Nubia. Hi, Nubia. Hi, teacher. You guys know what to do? Yes, yes. Ah, okay. I do the, the right. sentence with the adverb. Ah, perfect. Very good. Okay. Uh, In the chat, the group, how is it? Hi, Eli. Hello, Hi, teacher. teacher. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Eli. ¿Cómo van? Eh, ah, so -so. So -so? Yes, okay. because okay. Uh, not combined with friendly and but also. <laughs> let me see. I need to a noun, teacher. A noun or a verb? An adverb. An no, a noun. Adverb. A noun, noun. So Jennifer, no, because no, I have, because no, have, teacher. No. Really with teacher. Okay, so you're doing number two, Jennifer. Mm, she say he is not he is not only friendly, but also teacher kindness is that good or no? A friendly? I don't know. You tell me. Is it an adverb or is it an adjective? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, friendly is an adjective. Kind? It's an adjective. It's an yeah. adjective. Yes. Uh-huh. It's an adjective. It's not now. It's not an adverb. It's not an adverb, yes. A noun. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You can use okay. this so, um, for example, we we write one sentences with adjective. Uh -huh. And in the second sentence is a, a adverb, for example. Mm -hmm. But she say Say me is a noun. I don't understand. Okay. I'm confused, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. The idea, Jennifer, is that in each sentence you need to, for example, if you're working on number one, you're supposed to use adjectives, okay? So yes. that's why in our sentence, on the example sentence, it says she's not only beautiful, but also intelligent. Beautiful is an adjective, intelligent is an adjective. So I can say, for example, she is not only, I don't know, she's not only cute, 
but also nice. Those are adjectives, okay? okay. So I can say, for example, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a, I'm trying to think of adverbs. Adverbs are more difficult because um, they're not. Yes, in my <laughs> case, he plays socks are not only fast, but also uh -huh. strong. Strongly. Strongly. Uh huh. Okay. But also strongly. Right. Yes. With the adverb. Right, yes. And yes. then when you finish the adverb, you go with noun, right? Okay, teacher. All right, very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Eric, can you hear me? Hi, Jesse. Hi, excuse me, my computer is too off. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jesse, that's okay. I'm gonna send you right now, okay? Okay, you thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. Very nice sentences, Williams and Irene. Thank you. <laughs> Cauliflower. Oh. <laughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> okay. Irene have a little problem with the connection. Ah. But we, uh, we're going to try the chat. Okay, all right. Thank you, yeah. Williams. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah. If you like it, uh, make another one for each one. It's, uh, do you have that sentence in the now? In the op, yes, I, I put in the in the chat. Okay. Hi Normita. Hi Vero. ¿Cómo van? How are you yeah. doing? Uh, I I finished the first one. Okay. The first one. Uh, ouch, ouch. I what to say? Roll the. the the first one the first sentences no that all the sentence the first one for one oh, okay and okay. i try to make another one okay yes. perfect mm -hmm. thank you you're welcome norma how was your week did you work yes teacher i work the whole only, week norma only only thursday for a vacation only thursday thursday oh yeah. my goodness and vero did you work all week too Yes, because I live in San Miguel, and here ah. in San Miguel, <laughs> no. we, we are in vacation, only no. for the Only for Carnaval. Only Thursday. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> but you're not going to have September. Carnaval this year. In September. In November. 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 Uh -huh. yes. The, yes, the last Saturday. Uh -huh. the last, yes, the I last never time. go. Yeah, me neither. Norma, I've never <laughs> gone. <laughs> and, 
I never go to because really? I don't like. Yeah. Really. Because it's really crowded. Crowded. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And now I see, and I don't like that. No, yeah. It's better to stay home, Veritos. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't, I don't think, or do you think they're going to have the carnival this year because of the COVID-19? Yes. And uh, the carnival was canceled. It was canceled, right? Yes. Oh, okay. I see. For the quarantine. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I understand. All right. Very yes. good. All right. I, I'll let you work and then I'm going to go see another group. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. All right, guys, were you able to finish the first block? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Very nice. Yeah. All right, let me see. Uh, Williams, can you share who are you working with, Williams? With Irene, right? Yeah. All right, Williams, do you mind sharing your screen with us so we can see your sentences? Or you didn't save them? Okay. okay. I can share my screen. Okay. Excellent, Williams. Thank you. All right, let's see. Williams, can you read your sentences to us, please? What? Can you read the sentences to us? Yeah. Uh, for Paul is not only smart, but also analytical. All right. The second, Mary reads not only perfectly, but also quickly. I don't read the second. It's the same example. Okay. Yeah. 
she hates not only what happened. <laughs> what happened to the, the second one? He's not only handsome, but also very work. What do you mean? Okay, it's a, it with, with an adjective too. We have two sentences. Ah, with an adjective. ah okay, yeah. but, but uh, yeah. Williams just watch the, uh, it should say he's not only handsome, but also hardworking. That would be the adjective, hardworking. Okay. Uh, very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very okay. good. All right. Okay. All right. And then the third one, but also hard working. Excellent. Very good. Okay. The, the third one, uh, Williams. It's uh, Mary Williams not only perfectly, but also quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Fourth. Um, she hates not only celery, but also cauliflower. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and John not only runs fast, but also sweep perfectly. All right. What happens? What happened to the verb on the, the last one? The last one, swim. Swim and, and run. What happens to those verbs? Okay, it's like an athlete. It's an athlete, no, I understand, but yeah. something is missing on the verbs. She's not only, okay. she's not only yeah. run, runs. Because I'm not trying to say. And swim runs. perfectly. Runs, excellent. Runs. Okay, okay, runs. No, no, okay. no, no. Run, 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 run. Okay? And swim. And swims. swims. Mm -hmm. Swims. Okay. okay. Thank you. Sorry. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you, William. Okay. You may stop sharing you your do. screen. Thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, Andre, uh, Andrea, you were working with Diana. Yes, Andrea. Girls, did you do you have your screen yes. you can share with us? <coughs> yes. All right. Thank I you. Can share. Okay. Okay. Can you read it to us, please? Okay. And first one, my cat is not only playful, mm -hmm. but also cute. Okay. And the second, she writes books not only passionately, but also inspiring, inspiringly. Excellent. <laughs> and um, third, I, 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 like not, I like not only football, but also volleyball. Excellent. And third, I not only cook delicious, but also I love to clean the house. Wow. <laughs> it's All not right. true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Maybe right. Diana. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Diana. All right, very good. Okay, let's see. Um, one more group that can share their answers with us. Oscar, do you do you mind sharing? Or did you write anything? Uh, we're rolling on the chat. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> chat, okay, let me read for you. Okay, Henry. Yeah. Henry has a bad connection so oh, yeah he's he having problem with that he wrote oh, i am not only happy but also okay joke but also okay not only happy that would be but also with a good sense of humor or like humoristic uh -huh. funny I don't know. But I'm not it, only it, happy, it, but also yeah. funny. No, uh huh. Okay. But also funny. <laughs> All right. That would be because because joke is is a yeah. It's a noun. It's a noun. It's a noun. It's a noun. It's yes. a noun. Yes. It's a noun, and happy is a, a adjective. Adjective. That's right. Yes. So it okay. wouldn't make sense, right? If you notice, funny, you have to use uh -huh. the same part of speech. Yes. Not only happy, but also funny. Mm -hmm. My car is not only fast but also comfortable. Okay, she walks. Okay, not only in the morning but also at night. Ah, oh, all right. I mean, maybe she jogs or something like that. Okay. All right. Okay, very good. And uh, let's see, Norma, who were you working with? With Veronica, teacher. All right, uh, Norma, did you did you type something up here that you can share with us? Yes, teacher. Give me right. one moment. Yes, of course. Who's missing today? 
Eric, Eric is having problems with his connection today, huh? Also. Okay. All right. The first one, I like driving, driving not only in safety road, but also in beautiful landscape. I like driving not only in safe, safe roads, but safe. also in, uh-huh. Safe, not only yeah. safe. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. Okay. The other one, uh, the English grammar is not only important, but also necessary. How is it? It is important. How is it necessary? Okay. The other one, the teacher not only is punctual, but also is demanding. Okay. <laughs> You're not talking about me. <laughs> All right. Very good. No, All right. <laughs> All right. Another one, uh, I learn English not only well, but also understand better. Mm -hmm. So and learn and understand, another. right? Okay. Yes. If we put another one, she not only study English, but also study French. Okay. So study and study. All right. Okay. Punctual and demanding. I'm, 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 I don't know. Guys, what about number three? I think it's not. Yeah. Uh, because is, uh, the, uh, no Diana? Nouns. Uh huh. Because there are no nouns, they are mm -hmm. talking about adjectives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, punctual is an adjective. Mm -hmm. And, and also demanding too. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, how can we make it better then? How can we use noun and noun? Hmm. Norma, do you Norma and uh, very Vero, right? You were working with Vero, yeah. Norma, do you see the the point there with uh, that sentence that we were talking about? I think Normita se salió. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vero, we can fix it later, but yeah, let's let's be careful with the um the adjective. In this case, we're using adjectives for number three. All right, but that's perfect. Say the, the nice turn off to Norma. Oh my goodness, really? Yes. Ah, sí, sí. Yeah, ahorita acaba de escribir, es cierto. Yeah, you're right. The lights off. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Okay, very good. All right, thank you. Okay, guys, very good. Let's continue here. I'm gonna keep on sharing my screen. All right. So you see, this is this is what I like this because sometimes it's not as easy as we think. You need to know your parts of a speech, otherwise you get confused in what's an adjective, what's an adverb, what's a noun. If you do master those terms, nothing is gonna go wrong. But sometimes we kind of get confused. That's why. It's good to practice, and that, that's the idea behind it. All right, let's see. The other type of sentences we have. Diana, do you mind reading this whole block here for us? Yes. Um, subject plus verb plus not, not only plus adjective plus also plus adjective. All right. Adjective. She's not only beautiful, but also intelligent. All right. She's not only rich, but also famous. All right, very good. So here, guys, we're talking about pretty much the same sentence that we have up here. All right, she's not only, because we're using adjectives, what happens here? I mean, you see the structure that we're using? Remember that when we use adjectives, we don't, we don't use action verbs, we use the verb be. All right, she is not only beautiful, but also intelligent. She's not only uh, rich, but also famous. So if you notice, we're using is in both cases, all right, for sec for the first one and the second sentence because we're not we, we we're using adjectives, so there's no way that you have you're going to use right now something different. So that's like um, this one is basically what we have up here. The second one, um, let me see. 
Gerardo, do you mind reading the second block here? She speaks English. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. And the second. The second one. Mm -hmm. The S plus verb. That's right. S plus subject plus verb plus not only plus adjective plus but also plus adjective. Ad adverb. Adverb. Ad adverb. Ad mm -hmm. Yeah. Ad okay. And the examples. Yes. Ad adverb. She speaks English not only frequently but also <laughs> naturally. Bob works not only quickly but also efficient. e efficiently. All right. Efficiently. She speaks English not only fluently but also naturally. And Bob works not only quickly but also efficiently. All right. Very good. Okay. Jesenia, do you mind reading this one? Subject plus okay. verb. Uh huh. Sad. Such as plus verb, plus nor only, plus noun, plus but also, plus noun. Mm -hmm. Nouns. I like nor only apples, but also banana. Mm -hmm. She speaks nor only English, but also Spanish. She, he visited nor only French, but also Switzerland. Yes, he visited not only France, but also Switzerland. All right, very good. So here you notice, okay. guys, in all of these sentences, we're using no uh, nouns, apples, bananas, English, Spanish, France, so, Switzerland. All right, so those are nouns. Remember that nouns are names. All right, very good. I'm going to stop. Oh, well, no, you know what? Let's read the last one, which is this right here. The, what we're reading is the same thing that we have here. But if you notice, they have made it separately, like the rules, all right? So, or the structure. But this is what we just did, all right? Let's see. Uh, Sylvia, do you mind reading the last one here? This one right here, Hi. Sylvia? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, everything. Yes, please. Subject not only plus yeah. verb, plus V. Mm -hmm. Okay. Such subject plus not only plus verb, but plus but also plus verb. Excellent, uh-huh. Uh, example, I not only sing well, but also dance perfectly. Mm -hmm. He not only speaking English, but also Spanish. Okay. Uh, he, he not only insult, insulted her in front of her husband, insulted her in front of her parents, but also her husband. Threatened? Threatened. Threatened, uh -huh. threatened to bear to beat her up. her up. That's not a nice sentence. <laughs> oh right. my goodness. Oh, I know oh that is very, that's very violent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, very good. Thank you, Simita, for reading this. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing this because I need to take the attendance. Norma, está en la oscuridad, Normita. <laughs> Have right. a big strong. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. Uh, Nancy Elizabeth Larin Chavis, me dice present and Eli, please. <laughs> present. Excellent, Eli. Very nice. Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. Hey. Ha tenido problemas de inter. All right. Uh, oops. A ver, Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernández. No, right, he's not. Henry Vladimir del Cid. Tepas. Henry, Henry. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Jose, yes, Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Present teacher. Thank you. Josecito ha estado bien callado ahora. <laughs> Moisés Eduardo Alas Roque. <laughs> Está teniendo problemas de entrar en la Inter, me comentó. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Thank you. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present. Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. Present, teacher. Andrea María Trabanino Alfaro. Present. Williams Alexander Rodríguez Argueta. Present. 
Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Present, teacher. Gerardo Daniel Rivera Rivera. No, perdón. Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. I'm sorry. Present. All right. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Hoy sí. Present, teacher. All right. Thank you. Le, le presté los apellidos a Gerardo, perdón. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero. Elizabeth Salguero. Hola, Hola Eli. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martínez. Present. Thank you. Verónica Lisset Soto Serna. Present. All right. Nubia eh, Araceli Cortés. Present teacher. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you guys. All right. Let's continue here. Now, this is what I want you to see now. And this is what we did la the first class that we had. It says inversion, all right? To add emphasis, all right? This is what I was telling you earlier today, which I said to some of the groups in the first class. To add emphasis, we can use not only at the beginning of a clause or a sentence. When we do this, we invert the subject and the verb, okay? Not only plus verb or adjective or noun or adverb plus but he or she or whoever you're talking about also plus the verb or the adjective or the noun or the adverb okay when we see it this way guys sometimes we kind of think like oh my goodness what's all this but when we see the examples it makes it understand or easier to understand okay so here we have a noun all right, let's see. Vero, eh, can you read the first one? Not only. Okay. Not only does he speak English, but also Spanish. Okay. Oh, but he also speaks Spanish. Okay, very good. All right, thank you, Verito. This is what happens here in these types of, se in these types of sentences, guys. It says, not only does he speak English, but also Spanish. Or... Ojo, note this, not only does he speak English, but he also speaks Spanish. Either way, it's okay. The first one, it's in brackets because you can omit it. If you omit it, it's okay. It makes perfect sense. Or you leave them, you put them on your sentences, and it's also okay. So you say not only does he speak English, but also Spanish. Or not only he speaks English, but he also speaks Spanish. Some people are going to tell you that it's redundant, okay? That you're repeating the subject and you're repeating the verb. That's why they have decided that it can be optional. It's up to you if you leave it or not. Do you understand what I'm saying? Guys, do you understand? Help. Sure, sure. All right, very good. So right, remember right. that it, you can omit it. That's why it's in brackets, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, here it says the noun phrase. It says not only, no, you know, I'm not going to read it. I need someone else to read it. Uh, Jose Luis, do you mind reading the noun phrase, please? Teacher, I have a question. Okay. Yes. Not hold only. On. Hold on, Jose Luis, give me a second. Williams, tell me. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we can say it. Not only does he speak English, but also he speaks Spanish? Yes. Okay. We, okay. we can use it both ways, Williams, all right? You can omit the subject and the verb because it's already being said on the first part of your sentence, or you okay. can say it. It's okay. But, okay, but, but he also speaks Spanish. Or you can say, but also he speaks Spanish. But in the second part, with the noun. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if this is what you're trying to say. You can leave the he or you can omit the he. Okay, we have two ways over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, my question is about the third way. For example, not only does he speak English, but also he speaks Spanish. Ah, to invert it. Yeah, we can do that. 
Uh, according to the rule, we shouldn't. This okay. Is, this is the way it's been given. Like, let's say, but, and then you can use these subjects right here. You may yeah. read them, but also it's after it. Okay. It's not at, like all, but also. Okay. Uh, but also he, we cannot say that, but he also. Okay. Or you just leave, but also Spanish. Yeah, ya no se complica. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, very nice. Now, uh, I think we didn't read this part, which is important. It says the verb be or auxiliary do, will, should, would, can, or could. All right, so if you notice, we are like using it. All right, let's see. Noun phrase, uh, Jose Luis, now you may read it. Okay. Not only was it raining all day at the wedding, but also the bank was late. Okay. Not only was it raining all day at the wedding, but also the band was late. Okay, continue. Not, not only will they paint the outside of the house, but also the inside. Okay. Not only, not only is handsome, but she is also intelligent. All right. Or, but also intelligent. We omit that he is, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, Eli, Eli Larin, can you read this that is highlighted here? Okay. When there is no auxiliary verb or main verb be, we use do, do, did. All right, so not use, only mm -hmm. not only did she forget my birthday, but she also didn't even apolo apologize. Apolo apologize. Okay. Apologize for for getting it. For forgetting it. All right. Very good. Thank you. Okay. There is no auxiliary verb it. or main verb be. We use do does or did and you see the example not only did she forget my birthday but also or but she also didn't even apologize for forgetting it so here if you notice we're using the did here this is what they are telling you right with this rule right here all right not only, not only did she forget my birthday all right so you don't say not only she forgot my birthday you can say not only did she forget my did she forget my birthday but she also didn't even apologize for forgetting it okay now wait oscar do you mind reading the note note now a double negative is considered an error a negative form after not only sound uh, very unnatural mm -hmm. Um, not only did she not have any experience, but she also did not have relevant education. Uh -huh. It's better to rephrase, not only was she lacking in experience, but also in relevant education. All right, very good. So what they are saying here, you need to be careful with double negatives, all right? A double negative is considered an error. So you cannot say no, no all the time, all right? So it says not only did she not have, not only and not have, all right? So this is what they are telling you that you shouldn't do because it's not really considered natural. Maybe it's not that it's completely grammatically incorrect, but it sounds not natural. It sounds very unnatural, all right? It sounds very learned. So it says if you have to like look for words that say the same thing, but they are not really negatives. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right, so it's better to rephrase it and say, not only was she in experience, in other words, she had no experience, <laughs> but also in relevant education. So you're trying to omit the no, no, no in every time. Like, look here in the first sentence, not only not, but did not. So you're like repeating the note so many times and it's not really proper and it sounds unnatural. So it's better to rephrase it and look for words that means or have negative connotation or negative meanings, but they sound better, all right? So this is what I want you to do. Can you take a picture for, from, like, from here, inversion all the way to education?
and we're gonna go step by step here. So what I want you to do, we're going to invert it, but you guys are gonna make different sentences. I don't want you to use the same ones that you did previously, all right? So on the first one, they gave you an example using a noun. In this, they're not only using the noun, but they are using the per conjunction, not only, but also, mm -hmm. not only at the beginning, because you wanna mm -hmm. make, you're being emphatic or you wanna emphasize, all right? So you say, not mm -hmm. only, does he speak English, but also Spanish? If you want, you can like make one example using like this and the other one, uh, rep uh, including the noun and the verb that is in the same sentence anyway, all right? Now, this is the example of the noun. What I want you to do is come up with a noun example using not only at the beginning, I want you to use an adjective example using not only at the beginning, an, uh, an, uh, sorry, an adjective, a verb, an adjective, and an adverb, all right? Verb, adjective, noun, the same thing. The four sentences, they are giving you only the example of a noun in this case, okay? But then you have to follow the picture using a verb, using adjectives, using another noun, using an adverb. Do you understand what you guys are gonna be working on? Hello, hello, guys. Yeah, yeah. Sure. All right, very good, okay. So four sentences, yeah, yeah. but in this, this case, you're using not only at the beginning, and be careful with this note right here. You're using do or does or did, depending on the tense of your sentence and who you're talking about, okay? So I'm gonna send you right now to your groups again. Vero, I'm going to move you. Who are you working with, Vero? You were working with Norma, right? Yes, with Norma. Ah, pero como Normita se tuvo el apagón, pero ya está aquí. Ya la asigno, Normita, ¿ok? If you, if you want. Okay. You send in the WhatsApp group. Uh -huh. I send. Right now. I send. Okay. Uh, you have? Yes. Okay. Uh, the teacher says four sentences with the noun, uh, with beginning with the no only, using the verb, add, noun, adverb. Okay. Okay. Not only does she she sing in English, but also sing in Spanish. Not only does she sings. Not only. Not only does she does she speak English 
for also that she sings sing Spanish but she she also sings English English yes the bird not only with the this is the noun no this is, this noun. Is the noun with the noun um with the ad with the verb i think not only uh, not only write write the the write uh, or uh, No, only no, only fix fix a uh -huh. fix a bike, but but also. Fix. Ah. Last one, start with the subject. Yes. In the last That's one, the only. sentence is starting in the subject, but in that moment, the sentence is have to start with not only. Uh -huh. the key. Not, yes, not only does she learn fast, but also speak fluently. Yes. The second one, will you say phrase? The example is not only was it training all day as the Wendy, but also the bank was late. And another example, how three example here. Not only will they paint the yes, outside the only house, but will also they inside. Inside. Not only and the handsome, but, but also intelligent. With the we had example. It is not only handsome, but is but also smart. Only change the position but of the, smart, the first one. subjects. She watch TV, but also. Hi. Hello, Eric. Uh, I I was a problem with my computer. Sorry. Okay, but but he also teacher. Hello, Normita. Hello, teacher. I have a confusion. Uh -huh. uh, excuse, but only I put first one the the subject, but he also, for example, in this case, watch but he also the watches cell the cell phone. Watches, watches the cell yeah. phone. Mm -hmm. And in this one, watches too. Hey, does he only does he watch? TV? No, not only does he watch. Because you have the auxiliary, Norma. Ah, okay. Not only does he watch TV, but he also watches the cell phone. Or you can say not only does he watch, but also the cell phone. You can omit the he also and the watch. The cell phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why they are in brackets, right, Norma and Eric and Vero. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. That means that you can omit it or you can leave it. Either or, it's going to be fine. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. the, the parents, uh, in the, the brackets? indicator is the bracket. 
Mm -hmm. You can use or not use. That's right, yes. All right. So um, sometimes you can say, not only does he speak English, but he also speaks Spanish. Or you can say, not only does he speak English, but also Spanish. Some people, Norma, Eric, and Vero, some people say that it's too repetitive. All right. That it's too redundant. So they mm -hmm. omit the he mm -hmm. and they omit the, the verb. I mean, they omit the subject and they omit the verb. All right. But if you want to mention it. So you may do it both ways. Yes, Vero. If I want to say something about me using not only, mm -hmm. not only, not only do. Yeah. Not only, not only do. Do I study English, but also French? Yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. We can use not only do. Yeah. I. Yeah. Not only do I mm -hmm. speak. Yeah. Okay. Which oh. that's example in this true, one? Vero, where you speak French too, right? You said it, yeah? I, yes, I speak. <laughs> Excellent, Verito. Yes, Eric, you were going to say something. Um, when, when we use the, the auxiliar do, it's not negative. It's not only when you express a, a negative. A negative sentence. No. Negative sentence, yes. No. It's affirmative. It is affirmative and it's very emphatic. For example, you say, I do study English. When someone is uh, saying, ah, you don't study English, Eric, and you're saying, I do study English. So you're being emphatic on the fact that you study English. So in that sense, Eric, you may use the auxiliary do in an affirmative sentence. Okay, yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thanks. Well, I do understand what you're saying, all right? So that's, you are being emphatic that you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And remember that when you use not only at the beginning, Eric, if uh, it says right yeah. here, look at the on the screen, it says inversion to add emphasis. All right. So that's why we use not only that's this is how we used it at the very first uh, on the very, very first class that we use not only at the beginning. All right. Because we were very we were being emphatic. And I know this is we have done this before. But here now they're asking us to do verbs, adjectives, adverbs and nouns that okay. we need to understand the differences between an adjective, the difference between an adverb, the difference between a noun, so we know how to put it in the right place. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you, do I go to the gym, but also run. Ah, check number two, guys, please. Not only do I go to the gym, perfect. But also, mm -hmm. I go. I go run. I go running. I go run. Okay, I go, I go running. running in the street, or uh -huh. that that's better. That's, that's better. Yeah. Not only I, I, uh, not only do I go, do I to go? No. It delete the two, eh, Norma. Delete the two. Yes. Not only do I. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Not only. I go on not only side. do I go to the gym, but also I go running. Not only uh, do I go to the gym, gym, but also okay, but also I go running on the street. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. In that case, in that type of sentence, guys, you cannot really omit the running because it's a different action. Okay. Okay. Whereas on the first sentence, he watches TV and also the cell phone. All right. The so you refer to the same verb. Yeah. In that case, in sentence number one, you can omit it, Norma, Vero, and Eric, because it's the same action. Okay. But if you have different actions, you can't because otherwise you won't make any sense. Unless you say, not only do I run in the park, but also in the street. I see. Mm -hmm. Because it's the same action, run, run. But in this case, you say, not only uh, do I go to the gym to exercise, but also I go running. So two different actions. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. It's okay. But mm -hmm. if you have the same action, then you can omit the, the, uh, the verb in the second part of your sentence. Like number one, 
You understand what I'm saying? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. I'll let you concentrate. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, teacher. beautifully mm -hmm. made mm -hmm. not only was not only like, it was beautifully made mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. beautifully made uh -huh. but also passionately right. and we can place in bracket made because made is, uh -huh. is the same stuff uh -huh, at, uh -huh. at the end yeah uh -huh. i think that the, the, the artworks is the the hardest part of this yes uh -huh. yeah. the other is, is really Adverbs it's are really complicated. Hard. I hate adverbs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. May I, may I see your sentences, please? Yeah, sure. Let me try. Okay. Let me share. Let me. Ah, Oscar is. is Can you see? Yeah. Uh, no. Do you see? No. No, yet. No. There you go. Yes. Now I see. Okay. It's, yeah. Not only he was playing soccer, but also volleyball. All right. Not only the coffee was. What do you mean acid? Acid. <laughs> we are not sure. Acid. Ah, yeah. sour. Sour. Ah, ah sour. 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 <laughs> okay, because we acid are... is acid. Oh, yeah. Made a new word. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know it. I sour. understood though. <laughs> okay. Not only the coffee was. How do you, how do you spell sour? S O U R. Sour. Uh, sour. Sour. It's like la, the crema, the wheat with frijoles, we say sour cream. Uh -huh. Sour cream, uh huh. <laughs> I'm getting hungry, sour. guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't but also cold. Like, oh my goodness. You know what? I don't drink coffee, but I guess that's not a very good combination. <laughs> no, it's, it's not good for your stomach. But, oh, yeah, no kidding. But also magazines. Okay. Not only La Vida's Bella movie is beautifully made. Ah. Okay. Let's let's work on. Okay. Thanks, but also. Was okay. Okay. Not only the coffee was sour, but also cold. Not only I like books, but also magazines. Okay. Not only La Vida is Bella movie mm -hmm. is beautifully made. Is beautifully. Or was was beautiful. Oh, was yeah. So was beautifully made, yeah, because uh -huh. it's already been made. But also, oh yeah, and I cried a lot over the movie. <laughs> oh, <I get> it. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, now if you notice, guys, in these four sentences. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. On the mm -hmm. let, we can see it better on the first three examples. We are able to omit the subject verb because it's the same verb happening all right if you would have different actions going on then you cannot omit it all right do you, do you understand what i'm saying for example in the first one where he says not only he was playing soccer but also volleyball he played volleyball also he was playing mm -hmm. volleyball so it's the same action but if you have for example not only he was playing soccer but uh, watching TV, you could not omit watching because otherwise mm -hmm. it wouldn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. right, so that will be a, a phrase, a noun phrase. Yeah. All right. Noun so, phrase. Yeah. So in this case, for you to be able to omit the subject and the verb, it has to be the same verb happening. Mm -hmm. All right? mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it wouldn't work hey. that way. Yeah. Very good. All right. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, very good. Okay, let me go check in a couple of more groups and we're coming back, okay?
Okay. Thank you. That practice your English because you three speak English beautifully. So practice. <laughs> okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. But also eating. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Hello, teacher. Eating too. <laughs> Not only was playing um, all day, but also eating. Hmm. But also eating. <laughs> <laughs> With now phrases, it's more complicated. Mm. <laughs> what you playing all day, but also in. I felt fa uh, like one war in that sentence. Mm -hmm. Not only what you playing all day. But also eating. Now, when he's you like, guys, when you talk about cakes, do you cook it or do you bake it? Bake it. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Pass. Or baker. No, that's fine. Yeah. Not only did she bake. Uh, no, 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 no. You delete the baked because you have the did. Mm -hmm. Not okay. only did she bake cakes, but also. Uh, and then, uh, but, uh, food. Food. but also cooked Chinese food. And did it did. did, it did. Mm -hmm. That's right. Excellent. Okay. We can say not only was she playing video okay. games. Playing video games. I don't want to play video games. Uh huh. But also. Uh -huh. See a Netflix. Mm -hmm. Washing. Or watching. <laughs> but also watching Netflix. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> like my children. <laughs> It's the, the two options. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, eh? Yeah. It sounds okay. like a, it sound like a coach potato person. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have the time to watch. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> that's nice. Very good. All right. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. I think Last it's enough. One. All right, I'm going to go check one more group, guys, and then we're coming back, okay? Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So, not only? Not only swimming pool, but also swimming. But also? Swimming. Swimming. Uh, in the beach. In the beach. In the beach. In the beach. Oh, it is. Beach. No, only. It is a uh, adverb. No. 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 So, yeah. ah, okay. Now. Now, no. uh -huh. como pool, piscina, now, uh, mm -hmm. place, like a lugar, verdad? Mm -hmm. Now, right. piscina or beach. Podría mm -hmm. ser otra de nombre. Right. Okay. Sí. Bueno, si no, ahí no puede corregir la ticha. <laughs> Of course, Fernando. <laughs> okay. Swimming.
Drugs. William Sirene has still problems with her internet or her audio. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Why? Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. Okay. I have more, more problems with the uh, sentences. <laughs> uh huh. I don't know. Uh, can you? Not only that she dance, but she also sings terribly. <laughs> Not only. Oh my goodness, you're so mean. Not only does she dance badly, but she also sings terribly. Okay. Not only was Oscar working less, but also eating less. Not only was Oscar working less, but also Will was eating or earning less. Uh, earning, earn. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. Forget it. <laughs> Not only was Oscar working less, but also Will was earning less. Yes. Not only does he travels. Not only does he travel. Delete the S for that one, William. For number three. Over here? And no, the travels, the S on travels. Travel? Uh -huh. Not only does he travel a lot, but he also knows other people. All right. Not only was a bad day today, but also was a bad time. Oh my goodness. Not only are they gone. Bing. Not only are they gossiping with ING Williams, yeah. Okay. But also, but also, lazy, I don't know, but also lazy, but also careless, maybe. Over here? No, 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 but also, uh, but also are careless. Are careless. Uh -huh. Careless. Okay. All right. Okay. We're going to go back right now, guys. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. How was it? Elita, how was the exercise? Eli Larin, how was it? Yes. It was good? Did you finish? Yes. Who yes, were you? Okay. Eli, who were you working with? With Silvia? Yeah, with Silvia. Okay, very good. All right. Eli and Silvia, do you mind? Do you have the exercise that you can share with us on the screen? No. Oh, yes. what happened, Eli? <laughs> <laughs> Paper. Oh, no. Yes. Okay, that's okay. I get I am, it. I am in the in the cell phone. Oh yeah, I understand, Ellie. That's okay. All right, let's see. Um, Diana, do you mind sharing your um sentences? I would love to share my sentences, but I was not typing. Was All right, I was typing. right, but you were in the same group, so yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oscar is that the spokesperson. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Oscar. No, you know what? Uh, Diana, you may read the first two, and then Andrea may read the second, the, the last two. Okay. Not only he was playing soccer, but also volleyball. Mm -hmm. Not only was the coffee sour, but also cold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Andre, the second, the last two. She's probably not there. Oh, no. All right, Oscar, you may continue reading the other two. <laughs> not only I like books, but also magazines. Okay. Not only La Vida Es Bella movie was made, no, was beautifully made, but also passionately. Yeah. 
for the adverbs, eh? The famous adverbs that they, they, they are like killing us sometimes. All right. So guys, I, I just want to get your attention in these type of sentences. And I was telling uh, Oscar's group as well as I believe Norma's group. Remember that you may omit the, the verb in the case that you're using the same action in both sentences or in both clauses, all right? Not only he was playing soccer, but also volleyball. What do you do with volleyball? You play, all right? So in that sense, you may omit the verb again on the second part of your sentence because otherwise it would be redundant, okay? But you can say, not only he was playing soccer, but uh, he also was playing volleyball, all right? So you can say it again, but you can omit it just like this group did, all right? So as long as it's the same action, you may omit the verb, okay? If you have different actions, all right, then you cannot omit it. So you need to make sure that you know what you're saying and that you understand that it's the same action, all right? So that's very important. Very good, thank you. Thank you, uh, Oscar, you may stop sharing your screen. That was very nice. Uh, let's see here. Nubia, who were you working with, Nubia? Gerardo. Ah, with Gerardo, all right. Do you guys yes. have, you can share, can you share the screen? Okay. Eric, is daytime in the place where you are right now? <laughs> because of your background, it's daylight. <laughs> All right, thank you, Anubia. Not only does she sing English, but also sings Spanish verbs. All right. In the, in the first sentence, guys, can you, can you help us out here with number one? Anybody helping me with number one? Not only that she sings, is that okay? No. no. Okay. All right, so it should say what? Because they are using the same verb. All right, yeah, so they can make it shorter. See, I mean, Vero, but what is the, what, what is the other mistake that there is? Oh. Because, 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 because they use, when you use yeah. that, uh-huh. The bird the bird don't, don't use it. All right. Yeah, very good. Uh -huh. Because so you're right. using the auxiliary. That's right. So not only yes. does she sing, all right? Excellent. It delete the S on sings, the first one. Excellent. Not only does she sing. Uh-huh. Not only does she sing English. The second, the second, the second one, yes. The you second need year. It. Yeah, you need it on the second one. Mm -hmm. On the second one, you need it. You need the S on the second one. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Okay. But in the no. case. Sings. Sings, yeah. The second one, you need the S. Okay. Do you really uh, need the S? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Not only does she sing <laughs> English, but also sings. You don't need that. Yeah. In the, in the first scene. Yeah. But also Spanish. Right. Yeah. Now, you because you're using the same verb, you can omit it. Y ya no se complica si la usa o no le usa. All right. So you say not only does she sing English, but but also Spanish, right? but also Spanish music or whatever it is, all right? All right, guys, I just need to stop. Can you, can you stop sharing your screen for a second? I need to take the attendance again before I forget. Who's sharing the screen? Oh, no. Uh, Nubia, can you stop sharing the screen for a second? Okay. Thank you. All right, let's, let's do the attendance quickly, guys, here. All right, remember to say present. Nancy Elizabeth Larin Chavez. Present. <laughs> Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. Present. Thank you. All right. Very good. Uh, then we have here uh, Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. Hey, what happened to him today? He's not here with us. All right. Henry Vladimir del Citepas. Henry está teniendo problemas con la Inter, pero sí estaba con nosotros. 
José Luis Rivera Gutiérrez. Present. Moisés Eduardo Alas Roque. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present, teacher. Excellent. Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. Present. Andrea Maria Trabanino Alfaro. Present. Williams Alexander Rodriguez Argueta. Present. Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. Irene, Irene. Irene, are you there? <laughs> No me escucha. A ver, pero sí está. She had a little problem with her yeah, connection. Es cierto, tiene, yeah, you're right. She's being like, I don't know, she has had problems with her audio and stuff. All right. Eh, Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. All right. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Mm, pero estaba con nosotros y salió. A ver, eh, Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present. Elizabeth del Carmen. También tuvo problemas con conexión. All right. Silvia Marisol Villalta. Ah, y dice present teacher. Present. Irene. Gracias, Irene. Gracias, Irene. Present. Thank you. Eh, Verónica Lizeth Soto Serna. Present. All right. Y and Nubia Araceli Cortez Amacha. Present. All right, guys, very good. The last thing we're going to do what I, that I, wanna, uh, I want you to work on right now, so we actually like wrap this up, the, but not only, but also stuff, is this, all right? Can you please take a picture of this one right now? There are eight sentences, and it says, I'm, I'm going to try to make it a little bigger so you guys see it better. I think it's better that way. Uh, you can take three, I mean, two pictures. Join the pair of sentences below using the structure not only but also. And I also want you to, to say or to discuss in your groups if it's an adverb, is an adjective, is a verb, what is it, what are they using? So this is the first picture. Ready? Yes. Excellent. And then this is the second one and the last one. All right. So only two pictures. You have eight sentences. All right, so join them using not only but also, all right, and then try to come up saying, oh, okay, these, they're talking about adjectives, they're using adjectives, they're using adverbs, they're using nouns, okay, or they're using verbs. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Again, go to your groups, and then you may practice with your peers. Is this, they, they're the same groups, okay? There you go. A la hora, a mí a las nueve me da sueño <laughs> porque me levanto yeah. luego. Uh -huh. uh, the example. Number say, one. Uh -huh. She wants to run a marathon. She wants to write a book. Uh, Wait a minute. Right. A book. Right. 
but also want, want to write or solo write? Only write. But also write a book? Yes, can be. Write a book. Okay. The number two. Because you can see the example. In the example, he has to pass a theory test. He has to pass a practice test. A and practice then test. He not only has to pass the theory test, but also a practice test. Practice test, um, yes. Um, the bird passed. Yes, that, that's right. Yes, okay. See the second one. The second he one is he hits very hard. He moves, he moves very there. fast. It's other. It's adjective, adjective because fast is one adjective. Fast. It's one adjective. Hard, hard and fast. It's an adjective. Hard and fast adjective because are describing the verb. Yes, I describe and he. He not only. Hit very hard. Only hit, hit or only hit very hard. Very hard, but, but also, also move very fast. But also move move very fast. very fast. The second one, the number three. Number three. They, they are strong. Are strong. They have they have what mean is stamina? I don't know. I, I don't what I mean that's word. But a strong they have stamina. Okay. Okay. Not only they are not only. Uh -huh. Okay, they are not only strong, but also they have stamina. The first one, he he not only he not. Only, <laughs> I thought it was my computer. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> yes, teacher. Today has a different problem. Oh my goodness, Danita. Oh. I try to make my my let me one moment. And you're still like no light? Eh, no, no, light. no <gasps> teacher. Oh my goodness. The, the one hour. Oh my god, Norma. But we're almost done, Normita. Two minutes more. <laughs> I try to put my battery. Let me one. Oh my goodness, Norma, you're the best. <laughs> so, Vero, do, where do you study French, Verito? I study French in a. In the school called Epitur. Okay. An academy, Epitur. Epitur right. Academy, yes. All right. But yes. you're, you're, I mean, you're doing your classes online also? Yes. Yeah. I take French class on Saturday late. Okay. Nice, Vero. Which one do you like better, English or French? Um, I think I like English because it's more easy it's easier all right yes. yes it's easier and french is really difficult because mm. all the rules have except exceptions yes wow okay yeah it's complicated <laughs> it is complicated all right okay very nice good for you Vero. thank you okay Continuous. Mm -hmm. The second. The one. He not only. Oh. He, he not only likes. 
Yes, try to cut down. <laughs> Very good, Williams. You know what stamina means, Williams? What? Stamina for number three. Yeah, I, I don't know. No, it's like resistencia. Oh. Mm, oh. <laughs> Hola? Adjective. And no, it's an adjective. Adjective. Okay. For, for which one? For number three? Number three? Yeah, strong is an adjective. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thanks. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Ellie. Hi, teacher. ¿Cómo va? Hi, teacher. How are you girls doing? Vamos bien, teacher. Eh, Vamos por la clase. All right. Oh, nice. <laughs> Yo tengo una pregunta. Dígame, Silvia. Eh, este, quiero ver, en una oración que hicimos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, ya me acuerdo. Ah, teníamos una oración que la cambiamos, ¿verdad? Pero sí. quisiera ver allí, por ejemplo, le pusimos en el primer ejemplo, I have hungry not only in the morning, but also in the afternoon. Ok. Solo que en ese caso de, de, debería ser I, I am hungry. Uh -huh. oh, I am, okay. I am I hungry. Am hung uh -huh. Ok, ok. Sí, hicimos el cambio. Hicimos el cambio y en el segundo ejercicio le pusimos así. Not only do I hungry. Ok. No sé si ahí usamos bien el auxiliar do I. No. Porque como uh -huh. era I am hungry. Ajá. No, tendría que mantener el... el And not only um, I, uh -huh. I am hungry. Ay, eso también le queríamos preguntar, teacher, si iba primero el, el sujeto y después el verbo be o antes. Not only am I hungry, not only I am hungry. Ajá. Uh -huh. Porque había un ejemplo, por ejemplo, este que decía, she is not only smart, but also funny. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y cuando lo pasamos el invertido era not only Not only is she uh -huh. smart, o she is smart. Y, is she, le da vuelta. Is she, uh -huh. y solo en el num, solo cuando sea el nombre. Cuando, el verbo, ajá. Porque en ese de la, del hungry, de, sería not only I am, o am I. Am I, ajá, am I. Am I. Sí. Primero la am. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Porque All siempre right. sería Ahí primero está. el verbo be y después sí. el sujeto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O el auxiliar en el, el caso. El auxiliar en el caso, el exacto. El y luego el verbo. Uh -huh. ah, okay. Sí, es que ahí teníamos duda con, con ella porque no sabíamos si ponerlo primero o después. Right, y en right. el do, por eso como decíamos, ah, pues somos un auxiliar y por eso le hemos puesto el do. Ajá, uh -huh. all right, yeah, okay, very good. Vamos a, vamos a cerrar porque it's time to go, okay? Okay. Thank you. Are you done, teacher? Yes, Normita. <laughs> You're still in the dark. Oh my <laughs> goodness. A bigger mistake. I know. <laughs> You're here with us, Norma. That's great. Okay, guys, listen. Um, I don't know if not, a, not all the groups were able to finish. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to check them tomorrow as soon as we get into class. We're going to check these exercises, the eight sentences, because we need to go right now. So make sure that if you did not finish them, you can finish them tonight or you can finish them tomorrow during class, okay? 
So, okay. um, in case you guys go to the platform today, you're going to find video conference number six and video conference number seven, and then the tarea. Okay. So now we have two classes and one homework. All right. That's for unit two only. Unit three and unit four is the same as unit one. But for unit two, you're going to find two video classes and then a homework. Okay. So tomorrow, okay. guys, we're going to check these sentences that you were like uh, working right now with. So in case you did not finish, you may finish them tonight just for hobby or you may do them tomorrow in class with me. Okay. So thank you so much. It was very nice to have you in class. Thank you for joining us and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, Tina. Good night. 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 Good night.